Hi, my friends. I get so excited to see you. I hope you get excited to see me too. Today, for social studies, we're going to continue our um, series of lessons on Santa Clarita history. And today is one of my favorite because we're going to talk about all the schools in Santa Clarita or the beginning of schools in Santa Clarita. So stay tuned. We're going to look at some cool pictures. SCV, remember that stands for Santa Clarita Valley Journal, Santa Clarita Schools. So, this is Santa Clarita's first school. When I first saw it, I thought it looked kind of like a church, right? One cool thing about this uh, school is that it was actually a gift from Henry Mayo Newhall. And you remember, we've already studied about Henry Mayo Newhall. And we also named our hospital after him. It was built so long ago. Look, built in 1879. It had kind of a chimney right here. Looks kind of like a church when I first saw it. Um, it had classes upstairs and downstairs. So you would have classes up here, classes up there. It actually burned down in 1890. When I first was reading about it, I did a little bit of research online and I found out that the first teacher there made about $75 a month. Not a week, not a day, but a month. So obviously things were a whole lot cheaper back then. Um, I also learned that um, the students who went there, they didn't often come all the time every day. Sometimes there may be only like seven students who show up. So they didn't have like all of the rules that you have to have, you know, good attendance back in the day like we do now. So it burned down in 1890. So they built a new building, a brand new school. They decided to put the chimney over here on this side of it. Um, this school was built in 1890, so if the other one um, burned down in 1890, they built this one back pretty quickly. You can see all the people waiting out here, just congregating. It also had classes upstairs, looks a little bit bigger, right? And classes downstairs. It also burned down. It looks like it stayed there for about 24 years, and then it burned down in 1914. I was actually reading online where um, they were doing some weed killing around the building and somehow something caught on fire and it burned the building down. Remember how we have a very dry climate here and we have potentials for fire a lot and back in the day they didn't have the fire engines who could come and help put out fires uh, like we do now. So it burned down. So then they built the third elementary school. And this one kind of looks like a house. You can see it has a part of a chimney right there. It was built in 1914 after the other one burned down. And I was reading that half of it is still here. And I'm not sure if it's part of the new building, but this is modern New Hall Elementary that's over in New Hall. This is just a beautiful side of it that has a lot of... Um, big old auditorium there. I used to, uh, when I used to be a substitute teacher, when we first moved to California back in the day, I would sub at New Hall Elementary. And it was so cool because on the inside of it, you could tell it was very old. They had nursery rhymes uh, painted all along the walls. Um, it might have like the three little pigs and it would have a painting about them on the wall. So that was really cool to see that when I would sub there. Here's some students at New Hall's third school. So you can tell the school grew because there's more kids out there. There's about 70 to 75 students who attended. I like this little guy. He's holding his hand up because the sun is in his eyes. This little guy's not ready for the camera yet, but look, they're spilling all out into, I wish we could hear stories about what it was like to go to school here back then. 
I'll show you what it was like to get to school. This was Santa Clarita's first school bus. Look at this little guy. It says that these are literally some of the people who rode the bus. This picture was taken in 1918 and this bus which is really not a bus it's an old-timey car it held about six or eight people so I imagine if it had to go pick up a lot of people they had to make several trips back and forth to the school right and here's just a little interesting tidbit this is the first junior high just right up the road from uh, New Hall Elementary in present day over in New Hall and this is Placerita Junior High School. This is what it looks like today. I got this picture off of the internet. And Placerita was actually the Valley's first junior high school. And Mr. Turner is the principal there right now. He's working at home just like I am. So there you have it, friends. There's all the information that I have about the first schools that were in Santa Clarita. So next week, we're going to work on our sentence writing about the first schools in Santa Clarita or in New Hall, same difference. And we're going to draw a schoolhouse. Look at that. Isn't that exciting? It looks, looks very much like the first school there that was built in 1879. So thank you for listening and I'll talk to you later. Mwah.